Hello everyone, this is RTG Groups and I am Robin. So that's our first course of our courses. So in our first tutorial, we are building this navigation bar. So how to style this unordered list and logo and also this search box and everything how to style this. So I'm teaching you. So I show you. So that's website or home page. We are styling this home page. So I show you HTML of our Brightstar website. So that's our HTML of our Brightstar website. So you can copy this HTML from our source code folder. So okay, let's get start of styling our Brightstar website. So first I'm selecting the star tag. Star is a universal selector. You can also type the you can also use the body tag so why should we use this star or body tag so we are use this because the unwanted gap between our home page so we cannot want this so refresh so look that's unwanted border gone so i should so that's cause we are use this star or body tag giving them margin and padding of zero so now i am using the nav wrapper with id and Give them width of 100%. Sorry, 100%. And give them border bottom. Sorry, border bottom. And give them 5 pixel solid of hash D E D E and D E D. It's light gray color. So, okay. And after this, I am selecting our nav con. Sorry, container sorry container so that's our container of our 100% width so giving them width of 968 pixels uh, so that's align our home page in the middle of our page so giving them margin top and bottom to 0 pixel and left to right side giving them auto so I check them okay check them so that's all of our home page is okay and see the bottom was, bottom was looking pretty pretty good okay so next after this i'm selecting the nav folder so that's folder of our navigation bar that sold all of our unordered list anchor tag and logo or search box and etc so inside of our nav folder i'm selecting the a tag means anchor tag giving them text decoration to none then we, I did not want the underline, so I text decoration giving them none. So color, uh, sorry, color and hash. I'm using hex values. So 9a, sorry, uh, caps lock is uh, yeah, 9a, 9a, and 9a. That's light, light gray color. Okay, so after this, I am using the padding. To giving them a tag not list items okay be be careful about this use the padding giving them anchor tag not to the list items so giving them top to the zero pixel and right side to the 40 pixel and bottom to the five pixel and left side to the zero pixel always clockwise padding and margin of four values so giving them font family to the Georgian I like the Georgian font family on only font not font family sorry nav so i'm now selecting the id with nav folder and inside of our nav holder unordered list and list item inside of our unordered list and display in inline inline and display anchor tags in list items sorry list items display inline or block block is like of boxes and giving them margin to the left side first I show you why I am applying the margin left side to the another list so refresh so see cool pretty good but I am using the margin left because that's unwanted gap between our list item so one picture uh, sorry not one pixel I'm giving them four pixel to the left side so I think the problem was gone so I check uh, yeah problem was gone so 
okay and next after this i am using the margin to the bottom so bottom so giving them 10 pixel after i check uh yeah sorry yeah border was okay margin to the bottom side and now i select the nav folder inside of our nav folder i'm using css3 selector and type is text uh, inside of our nav folder i have only one type of select and text i have only one type of text so i select this and giving them the flow to right so now my search box aligning the right and top side so after this i am giving them margin margin to top side of 30 pixels and giving them border no i give them not border i did not want the border so i gave them border one pixel solid hash f f f that's white color so okay also give them width width give them width of 200 pixel and i think that was completed okay so see search box not have any border so okay that's lining to the left right side and giving them margin to the top side of 30 pixels that's working all this working so now when i hover on this the color change to light blue so i am using the uh nav holder with id and giving them a anchor tags on hover when i hover on anchor tags so giving them color and color of I am using hex values 66 cc sorry capital cc and ff capital so that's light blue color so our navigation styling is completed so now I check okay you also use any color would you like to like green purple orange royal blue blue etc but I like light blue so okay so uh, our navigation bar is completed so in our next tutorial we are building this slider how to style this of our slider we are i am not using the javascript so okay so i am only using this simple picture so okay thanks for watching this is rtg groups and i am robin thanks for watching